Hi everyone, it's your girl Designer Soapbox and I am back with another video. So, in today's video, I am going to talk about how to remove collections with Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, better known as the CFPB. So, what is the CFPD? It's the Consumer Finance Protection Bureau, okay? So basically what this is, is a marketplace for consumers such as yourself to understand your right as a consumer and also to create fairness with their credit card, mortgages, or other consumer services and products. You can submit a complaint regarding your credit profile or report mortgages and other consumer products. So... How to remove your collections is what we're going to talk about and how we're going to be able to do that is submitting a complaint with the CFPB. It is your right that you have uh, that you're able to actually come and, you know, tell CFPB your your situation and how a, how a uh, collection has violated your rights. So if your rights have been violated as a consumer. And I'll just give an example. There are many other reasons why your rights have been violated. I'll leave a link to the Fair Care Reporting Act where you can learn more. But this is just an example of most common practices when dealing with a collection agency. So I'm just going to go over this reason and kind of give you a scenario of how to remove a collection using this scenario, okay? So, for example, if you have received a letter from a collection agency to collect a debt, and likely you have sent them back a debt val validation letter, which you should do without, you know, paying anybody, uh, they will send you, if they send you a bill with no signature or a contract with them, the collection agency, then they are in violation of your rights, yes. So if they send you a bill without your signature, without a contract with them, saying that you have a debt with them, they're a violation of your right. So this is the reason why anyone can, you know, say or send you a letter saying that they're a collect agency and you have a bill with them and you need to pay them, right? So without a signature, a written signature, not a type signature, not an electronic signature, a written signature that matches similar to your driver's license signature, then, you know, they are a violation of your rights and you can submit a complaint. Okay. Written signature must be a proof of validation and it must be a, uh, on a contract or something like that. Right. And yeah, so this is why you should submit a, a complaint. Okay, so collection agencies must provide the following. So I want to go over reasons what they should provide in order for them to validate that you need to pay them, right? So this is good to know in case you are wondering, just to be aware of how they can, you know, how they can finesse you out your money, which we're not going to do that. You're here on my channel and I'm here to provide you, you know, some, some insight. So they should provide what the balance that they say you owe. And this should be proof of payment that is up to that balance. So say for instance, you, you have an account with the original creditor for $20,000, but you paid off $15,000. Now they're saying that you owe $5,000. Even that, even if that's correct, they need to provide proof of payment that you paid up to that balance. Because like I said, anyone can say that you owe any type of balance. So they need to provide proof of payments that's showing that you have paid that original creditor up to that balance, right? They need to explain and show you how they calculated what you owe and what they say you owe. They need to provide you with copies of any papers that show that you agreed to pay what you say of what you owe. Okay, they need to provide a verification or a copy of any judgment if applicable. Okay, they need to identify the original creditor. They need to prove the statute of limitations that have not expired on this account. Okay, they need to show you that they are licensed to even collect in your state. So sometimes a lot of debt collection agencies are not even in your state. So they need to show that they are licensed to collect in your state. Okay. 
That's key. They need to provide you with your license number and registered agent or agent of service. So they need to prove who they say they are. Okay? So if they have not sent you this, we need to get to these steps. So steps on how to remove the collection, okay? This is after you've been in contact with them or even if you haven't been in contact with them, they need to provide you with that proof, okay? So what you need to do is go to www.consumerfinance.gov. I am going to just write out the steps here and follow these steps, guys, okay? Follow the steps, how it's put. If you have similar, uh, sometimes it may not be the steps that I have right here is only for what I said, the scenario of the collection uh, that they they couldn't provide proof. They only provided the bill, right? So this is the scenario that I'm going through. But if your scenario is a little bit different, then, you know, basically alter it to your scenario. So once you go to the website, you want to go to submit a complaint. I highlighted it here with a red box, okay? Then it's going to take you to another page. It's going to likely take you to a submit a complaint page. Click the submit a complaint button again. Then they're going to ask you questions. They're going to say, what is this complaint about? You're going to put credit reporting, okay? Credit repair services or other personal consumer reports, okay? There is one that says debt collection, but you want to put credit reporting because they're, you know, inaccurately reporting this debt collection on your credit report. So put credit reporting so that this can go disputing with the credit bureaus and this can help get this collection off your credit report okay what type of credit reporting product put credit reporting what type of problem are you having credit reporting okay what describes your problem information belongs to someone else okay now in this situation it all depends on your situation but remember I'm doing they haven't validated the debt so this information can be somewhere else information this debt can be someone else information even if it's your actual debt information belongs to someone else, okay? Because they have not validated that this is a debt that you owe the collection agency, okay? Remember, once the debt is sold to a collection agency, it's no longer the original creditor debt. So technically, it does not belong to you. <laughs> have you already tried to fix this problem with the company? So you want to put yes or no. If you have disputed this problem in the past with the credit bureaus, then you put yes. If you have not, then you put no. Okay, this is usually with trying to fix the problem with the company or trying to settle something and they're they're not budging, submit a complaint, yes or no, okay? So I put it screenshots here because I want you guys to screenshot this, take a picture, keep it in your you know file so that you can have it in case you need to come back to this video or you lose the video, you have it in your file so that you can know kind of what to say. So after that, it's going to go to a next screen. What happened, okay? Describe what happened and we'll send your comments to the company involved. Make sure you include dates, amounts, actions that were taken by you or the company. Okay, this is key. Do not provide personal information such as your name, account, address, social security number. We may ask for some of this later to help the company identify you and your account. So when you're putting this statement, don't include your name. Don't include your account number, your address, social security number, your phone number, none, none of that. Because this complaint can be published on their um, profile with, with the Consumer Financial Bureau. So you don't want to put any information out there that can be, you know, um, put somewhere else. Okay, just, just kind of did, uh, refrain from putting your name. So here's an example. So you want to put on the date. Okay, of the collection report on your account. So if you, you if you if you just got a collection put on your account um, and it was you know alerted on Credit Karma, you want to put or any reporting uh, website that you use, you want to put that date. Or if you have not, if you don't know it, it's hard to find. If they sent you a letter, then use that date. Okay, then you want to put the collection agency name. Okay, then you then you just basically say. Let's say for ABC collection has added a derogatory mark on my credit report per credit karma or whatever collection reporting uh, that you have used. Upon further research, this account was transferred, sold, and I'm no longer responsible for the account. Okay. 
debtors, creditors did not verify this collection. Also, there was no written formal communication contract or signature for this accused debt at all. Okay, a bill without a signature does not validate the debt, and anybody can send a bill and say it's mine. Okay, let them know that. Okay, let them know that you know the rights. Anybody can send a bill without a signature. Okay, so let them know. You might want to say without a written signature. Okay, because that's gonna put more more emphasis on it. This needs to be a written signature. Okay, according to the FCRA, okay, Fair Credit Reporting Act, then you put the collection agency name, they have violated my rights as a consumer and I am requesting legal action to remove this account immediately. So put the call to action at the end. Let them know. Remove it, delete it, whatever you want to put. Tell them what you want them to do, okay? Don't forget to tell them that. That's why you're complaining. You need to be removed from my account immediately, okay? So next step is what would be a fair resolution to this issue? So this is where the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau will come in and they kind of, you know, um, be the problem solver and see how can we come to a resolution. So they're going to forward this to the company involved. So be specific on what resolution you are looking for, okay? So the company may or may not offer to resolve your complaint, okay? So more detail is going to back you up. So what you want to put is what you, we want to say, please terminate collection efforts, remove and notify all credit bureaus such as TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian to delete the account immediately for inaccurate reporting and failure to validate the debt, okay? So whether this collection is reporting to TransUnion and not Equifax and Experian, just put all three just in case, okay? You don't always want to put all three just in case. It may pop up later. I need to remove it from all three, okay? So it's better safe than sorry, right? Then the next step is to attach documents. So here you want to attach like uh, letters that you sent to them. Uh, you want If they sent you a bill that wasn't with a signature or whatever, you want to upload that there this is going to validate you know your complaint this is going to give more um this is going to give you more leeway on getting this resolution resolved you know because it's your word against their word right so you want to provide as much evidence as possible so like i said letters if you have recorded um Phone calls because they could record your phone call too. So if you have a recorded phone calls, if you have emails, if you have a certified ticket that you sent them and they never responded back after 30 days, send a complaint. Send a complaint. By law, they have to respond by 30 days. So send them a complaint. Uh, you send them a um, you know a certain things that you can that you can send them. So uh, make sure you have all that. Any type of form of communication, upload it there. Then next step is what company is this complaint about? So find a company, okay? Make sure you find the right company, okay? Make sure that you have that company right. So this is important. So I want to let you guys know that this part is optional, so I will not do it at all, okay? We need this information to help the company find you in their system and respond to your complaint. So the only part I would do is the name as a repair and credit report. So just put your name. Do not put your social security number or your date of birth. Don't You don't need all that, okay? It's optional. You don't need to do all that. Collection agencies probably won't even have your date of birth or social security number, okay? So you don't need to put none of that. I wouldn't put none of that. Do you want to, to complain about another company? Put no. If you do have other collections with other company, submit another complaint, okay? Who are the people involved? So identify who, who is involved in this complaint. This can be just you if you're an account holder or a borrower, you and someone else if you're submitting for yourself or want to include another account holder or a co-borrower, someone else if you're submitting for someone else as an authorized third party, such as a lawyer, advocate, or power of attorney, okay? So most likely you're going to put just you. If this is a collection that usually you've co-signed, just put just you. The other person that, you know, 
the other person that you know messed you up and uh, allowed this allowed this collection to be defaulted, that's on them. Okay, <laughs> I mean that's on them. That's on them. So just do just you. Okay, worry about you for this matter. The goal is to get the collection off your credit report. Okay. So tips after you submit complaint. Okay. So let's go back. So after that, you want to put all your information. It's going to come and put your information. So make sure you put all your information down. That's correct. And then submit the complaint. It's going to take, it may take up to 30 days, but most likely it's going to say 7 to 15 days. Okay. Like if they're on it, right? But you can go on their complaint page or their, their um, not the complaint page, but kind of if you go to the Consumers uh, Bureau page or the BBB, then you can see their company information. You can see how often they respond to complaints. If they have tons of complaints, most likely they're going to have tons of complaints, but you can kind of see their response to the complaints. Okay. Trust the process. Be patient, okay? This is tips after you submit a complaint. Keep track of all your certified tickets and letters to and from the collection agencies, okay? Mm, this is my favorite. Don't let the collection agency pimp you, okay? If they can't validate the debt, don't pay them. Don't pay up. You are you are you in the in the, in the slides before. If they can't validate any of that. Don't let them, don't pay up. Okay. If you feel like, you know, you need to, you need this collection agency off your credit report, you need to pay them. Even if you pay them, the collection, the collection is still on your report. Okay. So don't pay them. They're going to, there are ways where you may think that if you pay this collection agency, uh, it's going to go off my report. No, they're going to take that money and run. And then they're not going to have, then they're not going to be like, look, you already paid. I'm not deleting nothing off your credit report. We're done. The matter is done. I didn't got my, you know, I didn't got your collection for pennies on the dollar. And I didn't got my, you know, money. So they pimped you. So don't pay them, y'all. Don't pay them. Do not pay them. Do not pay them at all. <laughs> okay, this is this is good. Right here is, I sh it's supposed to say don't. Don't sign no letters. To the collection agency okay so i put this on my community tab letting you guys know that that's a no-no do not sign any letters to the collection agency always type your name and that's it when you're sending letters to the collection agency whether whether it's a validation letter or a pay to delete don't sign your name okay don't put your social security or your birth date on the letters don't put none of that information okay they are sneaky. They are sneaky, sneaky, and they can forge anything. Okay, okay, they can be sneaky. So don't don't do it. Try to refrain from any phone calls and keep all communication by mail. The reason why I'm saying this is because for this purpose of what we're talking about, you want to have proof that you communicated with them. So if someone, if you call them and they say, okay, we we can agree to delete, you know, this account if you pay. And then you pay, and then they say, well, there wasn't no actual evidence, okay? But they told you on the phone that there wasn't, that they that they will accept and then delete. If you didn't record it, it's your word against their word, right? So you want to make sure that you keep all communication by mail, just if they do, you know, some shady business. And this has happened in the past, okay? Never admit to the debt. It needs to be validated, even if it's your debt. It needs to be validated because, again, the original creditor has sold the debt to the collection agency. So, technically, if they're not responsible for it anymore, you're not responsible for it anymore. <laughs> so, it needs to be validated. They need to have full proof. Okay? So. Hi, everyone. This is Anna Soapbox. I just wanted to make this video to guys let you know that I am having a 50% off sale for 72 hours. Yes, a 50% off sale on the 24 hour express anchor removal guide and also the late payment removal guide. So just head down to the description or to the pinned comments and click the link 
and get you 50 percent off remember this anchor removal will help you remove hard inquiries from your credit report within 24 hours and then the late payment guide will um, help you remove your late payments uh, very fast super fast actually um, if you're tired of disputing your late payments waiting 30 to 45 days this is a quicker method of getting these late payments removed so if you guys enjoyed a lot of my content i talk about this in my videos however i have this in an ebook i'm doing 50 percent off for you guys if you missed a 60 percent off sale i'm doing one for 50 percent off so i'll see you guys in the next video and thanks for supporting make sure you like subscribe and comment bye Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Follow me on Instagram, y'all. I see y'all on Instagram. Follow me. I'm going to be more active on Instagram. And make sure you grab those ebooks from designersoapbox.com to help you with your credit. Bye.